Hi, I'm Dr. Q, and today I'm going to speak to you about the truth behind the coronavirus known as COVID-19. Throughout my years in practice as a healthcare professional, I've learned how to get the accuracy behind statistics. Now let's talk about the truth behind these statistics. How serious is the coronavirus? That is what everyone just wants to know. On Monday, March 16th, the World Health Organization displayed a 3.9% mortality rate. Here's the truth. Yes, it is a 3.9% mortality rate, and this number is updating every day. Now let's talk about which individuals who are at risk. Risk can be looked at in two ways. There is risk of being exposed and getting minimally sick from the virus. And then there's a risk of getting severely ill or dying from the illness with this virus, according to the CDC. While we are still learning about how COVID-19 affects people, 15 to 20% of individuals have developed serious illness, including the elderly and individuals with pre-existing medical conditions. These conditions include high blood pressure, heart disease, lung disease, cancer, diabetes, or potentially obesity. There is an increasing risk of disease and the risk increases with the age starting at 60. The risk goes up in relation to the age of the patient, with seniors over 80 being the highest risk. This virus does not seem to affect children. Only about 0.2% were in people younger than 19, according to the reports out of China analyzed by the CDC. The 3.9% mortality rate has been compromised because the coronavirus affected a nursing home. And who belongs to nursing homes? The elderly. You all have heard healthcare professionals speak about flu rates, whether it's death or the number of illness in comparison to the coronavirus. You're thinking, what are these healthcare people saying? How are they saying the flu is much worse? Okay, so now it's time to get into this deeper. As of last month, there has been 22,000 to 55,000 flu-related deaths, 670,000 flu-related hospitalizations, and around 51 million flu illnesses. The resulting figure is a 0.1% mortality rate. You may think 0.1% is a low number. You may also not know that when an elderly patient is first admitted into the hospital with the flu and develops pneumonia, the cause of death is reported as pneumonia and not the flu. As a result, the mortality rate of the flu is much higher than reported. The resulting mortality rate is approximately 7.1%. Fear of the unknown can be one of our greatest fears. The coronavirus is still very unknown. This virus is capable of spreading easily from person to person based on the available data, which explains why everyone is panicking. Of the individuals affected, 80% of these cases are mild and have recovered. And in many cases, many individuals display cold-like symptoms, even little to no symptoms at all. These individuals were not tested and are not accounted for as a total number of the COVID-19 cases. This compromises the statistics big time. This would actually decrease the mortality rate that is reported immensely. With that being said, this is still a serious situation and everyone still needs to take the appropriate precautions. Social distancing is very important at this time to prevent further spread and the mutation of the virus. My next video will be on how critical social distancing is Thank you everyone for your time and thank you so much for listening. I'm Dr. Q and I will have more updates coming at you very soon.